Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing Tom Clancy's The Division for the PS4. The game is also available for the Xbox One and Microsoft Windows. Tom Clancy's The Division is an online only action role playing game developed by Massive Entertainment. The game takes place after a viral epidemic known as the Dollar Flu. Society has fallen apart and factions are vying for control of the streets of New York. You play as an operative of the Strategic Homeland Division, a group of first responders responsible for restoring order, rebuilding the community and eradicating hostiles from New York. So what is the game like to play? Well, you start with a fairly basic character creator, then it's off to the cold streets of New York to find your base of operations. Once found, you do missions related to various aspects like restoring power or improving the medical facilities to combat the virus. The combat system is fairly tactical and relies on cover rather than a run and gun approach. Stand out in the open too long and you're done for. So you'll be using cars, walls and anything to protect yourself from enemy fire. Some enemies drop loot and these items can be equipped whether they're weapons or armor pieces. And you'll need to monitor your gear levels as you enter harder areas. Or again, you won't last very long. Every enemy you kill, mission you complete or milestone you reach will grant you experience. As you level up you'll be able to use better gear which in turn lets you be more effective in the tougher zones. You'll forever be finding new armor, weapons and parts as well as some varied cosmetic items. But you don't just rely on your gear, you also have skills, talents and perks. As you progress you can equip skills like sticky bombs, shields or field medic talents. And these add some more depth to your character loadout and build, which is great if you really want to tailor your approach to suit your style. The New York map is excellent and feels realistic and believable. You'll be helping civilians in need, investigating echoes which are like memories that you can rewatch. There are local gangs spread throughout the snowy streets and the whole city feels lived in and it's a very immersive world to play through. You can unlock safe houses to resupply or team up with other players and you will need to on the harder missions. Regarding the missions, most of them they're pretty similar in structure. Go to a location, kill some enemies, pull a switch or two, defeat more enemies, then fight a boss and there you go, done. The bosses, they're not that interesting though, instead they're more like bullet sponges, but it is still satisfying when you do take them down. The game is online only, but you can play solo, but as I said, things do get pretty tough, so you will need to team up with people at some point. The matchmaking is okay, and I didn't experience too much delay in finding groups. And one other feature are the dark zones, contaminated regions where you can find very hard enemies, you can extract superior gear, or you can go rogue and do a bit of competitive PvP with other players. Graphically, the game looks fantastic with a believable and detailed depiction of the streets of New York. A special mention has to go to the dynamic weather effects and the lovely lighting, especially at night. It really does add a lot of atmosphere and kind of immersion to the experience. Like, I played The Division 2 first, then I came back to this one to see what this one was like, and I can't say that the graphics are that different. Like, the graphics in this one, I think, are really nice and really good. Not perfect in terms of animation, but environmentally very impressive especially the weather sound on the whole is very good with solid voice acting good sound effects like car alarms and a kind of distant gunfire you know spatial sound is very good here jtf flash priority cleaners are civilians hostage at the precinct on west 26. all available personnel respond to staff okay what's good and what's bad what's good the game loop is simple and addictive, the progression system keeps you wanting more, there are lots of missions, loot and interesting areas to explore, it's good fun whether played solo or co-op, graphically it's beautiful at times, the sound is strong and the customization options are decent. What's bad? The missions are a little bit repetitive, if you're playing solo the game is still online only and the story narrative isn't like that captivating to be honest. So what's the verdict? Tom Clancy's The Division is a very playable looter shooter with a simple premise, lots of missions, busy work and an addictive gameplay loop. It's easy to play for hours on end as you level up your character, weapons and gear. It's good played solo or with other players, but the mission variety is the major disappointment here. Saying that, I never got bored doing the missions. I think the cover-based combat, strategy, 
you know, in the skirmishes, that kept me on my toes enough to keep it entertaining. But, you know, when you strip it back, it is a little bit basic in terms of the structure of your day-to-day -day missions. Okay, so with all that being said, my score for Tom Clancy's The Division is 8.3 out of 10. Okay, that was the review. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. This is Photography Gamer signing off. Thank you.